Hey guys, welcome back to Bad Luck Garage. Uh, some of you may know what I like to do sometimes is if I'm if I'm hanging out on a forum or uh, on a Facebook page and, and I see a question that keeps getting asked over and over, uh, I like to kind of try to help people out. So usually when I do a how-to video, that's what it is. Well, um, today's how-to video is on how to data log with HP tuners without a laptop. All right. So first, there's multiple reasons you might want to do this. Um, off the top of my head, the the first thing I can think of is, you know, you're at the drag strip. Uh, a lot of drag strips. Now, I've never had this problem with my local strip here in Knoxville, but I know a lot of drag strips, uh, they don't like to see a laptop open in your car while you're trying to make a run. Uh, they generally don't care too much on, on a street car, but, you know, you, you bring like a... 10 or 9 or 8 second uh, car in there and you're playing with a laptop, you know, uh, in the burnout box, they, they tend to frown on that. So this will be good for that. Um, you know, a lot of people, when you when you buy these things, I, I mean, first off, I got to say, the only thing, you know, this only works on the pro version, okay? I don't know if you can see this, but the pro version, I'm going to get behind the camera so I can make sure you can see. On the pro version... Uh, you've got a record button and you've got a stop button okay now the uh, the regular HP tuners don't have this feature so uh, unless you've got a pro this doesn't apply to you so you know you can go ahead and stop the video now although I'd like for you to go ahead and watch it but anyway um, a lot of people buy the, the HP Pro because they're thinking they're going to use that feature and then a lot of people just can't seem to figure out how to use it so um, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, guys, so here's what you need to do. Uh, this is actually pretty simple. Um, you know, once you've got your scanner open, whatever configuration you're wanting, uh, that's what you need to have open right now. Um, you know, whatever you normally use to scan with when you have your laptop plugged in, um, whatever you have open here, that's, that's what's going to be scanning, okay? So just make sure you have the config or the, uh, the layout that you want open. Uh, so from here, it's real simple. You plug in uh, into your vehicle. Now you have to tell it what vehicle you want it to uh, scan. So, you know, if you do this and you're plugged in, um, like you can see up here, the, the last vehicle that I was plugged into was, it was actually Project Steppenwolf, but it has the engine, the 6.0 out of a uh, 2006 um, Chevy 2500 in it. Uh, that's not what we want. Uh, I want to scan my, 2007 avalanche and that's what we're in right now so what we're going to do we, we plug in you know plug in our um our hp tuners pro unit we've got it plugged in and we want to go up here and we want to click on connect to vehicle very important so you can see it's gathering information all right now it says we're connected so from here we go back to vehicle and we scroll down to where it says MPVI uh, Pro Data Logging. You just click on that. It's going to open this little window right here. Um, over here, your scan rate, you've got slower um, or normal. Uh, I, I like to use the normal. Um, it's, well, just like it says here, it's more precise. Uh, so from here, all you do is hit Right Config. And you can see down here it said Right in config complete and that's it guys once you've done all that you can close all this you can unplug your laptop all right guys now that you've got it configured um, you know I'm, I'm in my avalanche right now you can see there's no laptop hooked up to my my uh, HP tuners unit uh, all you have to do and you can do this while you're in the middle of driving uh, you can do this you know if you're about to make a run at the drag strip uh, you just hold down you can see you got a record button and a stop button okay hold down the record button for a second as soon as that red light comes on you're recording guys so all the perimeters that you had put in there um, that's what it's going to be recording right now when you finish recording like you just got done making your run um, or you know you you got back from the store or whatever just hold down the stop button for a minute Till that light goes off you can see the busy light the reason it's showing a busy light is because it's saving all that data and that's it 
all right guys so i made a little room to get pizza for the kids but um anyway when you get done you just take your uh little hp tuners thing here take your fire wire we're actually in my living room now so we're gonna plug that back in open your uh vcm scanner here you go back to vehicle go back down here to the data logging and you're going to go over here and you're going to click on get info and there you can see the logs these are uh <laughs> where i made failed attempts at, at showing you guys something and i i started filming over but uh this is my run going to the um, uh two papa johns and this is my run coming back so all you got to do you click on one and you hit read log file and it's going to ask you to save it at this point well it's <laughs> It's going to read it. It takes a minute, guys. Whew, that takes a minute. So uh, <laughs> I kind of cut to uh, to where it had already read it all. But anyway, it's going to ask you to save it. So, you know, you go up here to Logs and Tunes. I said Logs and Tunes. All right, let me back up. All right. VCM Scanner Logs. All right, so you go right here, and you just name it whatever you want. Um, <laughs> I'm going to name it papa john's because <laughs> that's where i went and you just hit save after you're done with that you can just go up here to uh log file open log and you see we've got our file right here for papa john's for today double click and it loads it up there so there you go okay guys as you can see uh easy process there uh, you know, this will come in handy if you're at the drag strip uh, wanting to scan your runs or, you know, if you're if you're street tuning and you don't want a laptop bouncing around uh, or if, you know, like I know a lot of the times when I like when I tune, uh, what I like to do is, uh, you know, if I'm just going to Walmart or something, uh, I, I like the ability to be able to, to scan on the way if I've, I've made a change in my my car and, you know, I can just just in a trip to Walmart and back, I might get all the data I need to make all the changes I need. Uh, but I don't want to leave my laptop in the car in a Walmart parking lot. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, if you like the video, click the like button. Uh, share it if you know somebody that needs it. Um, you know, like I said, that's why I made it. <laughs> but, um, you know, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Bad Luck Garage.